Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles. Now, you guys haven't seen me on the simulator a whole lot. To be honest, I think it's been about two months since I played some iRacing. So I owe you guys a racing video, and quite honestly, I've been really wanting to play. So behind me, I have iRacing set up. I'm going to join a race that starts in five minutes. It's the Mazda Cup, and it looks like it's the full course at Okiyama. And this is my first time playing iRacing for like two months, so hopefully I don't cause a catastrophic wreck. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself by saying that. But guys, just so you know, I have, uh, I think it's R I R D D U running up here on this display that has like my dashboard and my shift light. I'm not going to be running iHUD on the iPad today because I just got the simulator like all up and working again and got all the drivers worked out. Um, so I don't want to tempt fate. We're just going to play it as is. But guys, wish me luck because I'm going to need it. guys we're trying something a little bit new here I have my zoom h4n recording the audio on the stereo microphones right over here and then I have my Sony vlog camera set up right over here so you can see me shifting and my steering and everything and then the camera behind me is capturing this round hopefully this this will work out pretty good so let's go ahead and just turn some practice laps now I'm completely green I, I haven't played this in so long I honestly forget, I think you gotta push like three to know where the other cars are on the track. Oh shit, I don't remember, F3, there we go. Oh, now I got the black flag. Oh well, good thing it's a warm up. them how I turn on the voice spotter. Hopefully somebody will answer me. Oh, I'm actually genuinely nervous. I forgot this is one of those games where it's like the outcome really affects you and your ability to keep going. 
Come on, somebody please tell me how to turn the spotter on. Please! I don't think they're gonna tell me. Ah, here we go. Oh, man. The car doesn't shift as fast as I'm used to. Promised to practice next time. I just didn't have time. It, I had to get everything working. <laughs> that ate up all my practice time. So now the iRacing community has yet another video of me driving like an ass hat. Oh, I'm about to get lapped already. Jesus. Go! 
Man, that guy's brave. <laughs> that guy's real brave. He must not have seen me in the beginning. To jump in front of me and get on the brakes like that? Oh, that guy's got balls of steel. Oh, dude, I am not the guy you want behind you. sitting in their living room, uh, they take this shit very seriously. I've had a run-in with more than a couple on my videos. <laughs> hey guys, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take this game seriously. I swear to God I'm taking it seriously. It's just, it's all the more reason not to fuck up. driving instructor. show it as being right, but uh, from my point of view, everything's perfectly straight across all three screens. The sense of speed feels right. I just suck at driving simulators. Come on! Come on! Shift! Brake hard! 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 Okay, slow the release. Probably should have downshifted, but I didn't. Downshift right there. There we go. Get that torque. Get all three of those torques. I checked that very little input lag on the steering wheel, so I can't blame any of this ass hattery on uh, calibration and stuff. Everything's working exactly as it should. My force feedback settings could use a little work. The wheel feels a little bit lighter than it should be. But. I just suck at driving. I need to get back into this. When I was doing this every day or two, it was a lot easier. After two months, it feels new again. This car is tail happy. It wants to slide. off. 
That was better. That was better. Part of the mix. Okay, let up a little, let up a little, let up a little. Nice and easy. Keep that ass in there, check. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. There it is. There we go. Fourth gear. Now my speed up above is in kilometers per hour because uh, I forgot to configure it. Either that or I'm in the first Mazda MX-5 that does 170 miles an hour. Okay, I'm improving. I just really wish I hadn't had that accident in the beginning. It was completely avoidable. I 100% take responsibility. Oh, if you're somehow watching this video and I ruined your race, I apologize wholeheartedly. <laughs> Somebody put, sorry, pedals work, feet don't. <laughs> well, I'm not the only one having problems. Oh, another person dropped out. Yes, now I'm in eighth place. I'm going to win just by surviving. Get you guys. Best lap, 158. Come on, I want a 156 this time. Hey, I got a 156. <laughs> All right, Stella's getting her groove back here, guys. It was a rough first half of the race, but we're getting it now. It's all about finessing the controls. Not manhandling the car, gotta treat her like a lady. Gotta keep that ass under control. This car just wants to do donuts. Alright, got my next target straight ahead. Gary Lindquist, here I come, buddy. Next time I play, guys, I'll have comms on so I can talk to the other drivers. I've never actually done it because they're usually calling me asshole and telling me I should kill myself. Um, but once I get a little better, I'll talk to them. There we go. Whoa, no, 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 caught it, caught it. Woo! If I focus on the tire noise, I have a whole lot better indication of how much I'm sliding and I can keep it under control with the throttle. Cut this corner a little bit. There we go. Better. Another 156, guys. I'm keeping it consistent. That was good, Judge. All right. downshift in a corner, but I had to. I had no power. Two laps to go. Hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes. Get ease up, turn in, touch the outside apex. Yeah! Or rumble strip, rather. Downshift, grab the inside of this corner, scoop to the outside. There she is, okay, a little bit of break, bring the ass end around, and could have gone a little faster. It's like riding a bike, I'm getting this. 
Ooh, a little ambitious there. It was a good turn, but I almost lost the ass end. Touch the outside. A little short. Could have done better. Man, I'm really coming close to going off track on that corner. Oh, come on, kiss it, kiss it, kiss it, kiss it. No, nope, came up short. Still could have carried more speed. My best lap's a 156. That's not bad. Well, it's bad if you're good at the game. It's not bad if you're coming back after two months. Kid, and that was horrible. Seventh place, but only because three other people died. 
Well, guys, unfortunately, that was a sad return to iRacing. I hate that the first iRacing video I need to bring to you guys after so long is basically me coming in seventh place because three other people were worse drivers than me and wrecked out. Um, but, you know, I did a lot of damage. I had, I think, nine off tracks, and I had the one collision, and I had a spin. Um, and so that's humbling. I mean, I really, really need to practice again. I need to start taking your guys' feedback. I made a couple of changes this time. I thought it did help, but I need to really, really get on top of that Mazda MX-5. That thing is tail happy as hell. I mean, you gotta, you gotta keep that throttle right in that zone to hold that rear end through the turn. Otherwise, it wants to come out. And once it comes out, counter steering's tricky, especially on a simulator because there's just a slight little bit of input lag. It's almost like it's like a tenth of a second, but it's just enough that it makes it really difficult to catch a car. Um, but I still had a lot of fun. Uh, if you look at the results to the race, you know, I came in seventh place, uh, you know, seventh out of 10. And my average lap time was two minutes and one seconds. But my fastest lap, top was, lap time was a 154. So if I had kept that 154 pace, I would have been, been fine. I would have been in the top five easily. Um, but now my Class D license, I lost three points off my license, or actually 0 0.03 points. So I didn't lose... A massive amount and then my i rating went down by 42 points sitting at 767 so my i rating took a pretty good hit for my ass hattery uh, but guys i hope you enjoyed watching the video anyways uh you know this is proof just because you have a cool simulator doesn't mean that you're an expert at racing i mean that half these guys up here that are in one through five are probably rocking like g25s you know on their homemade wooden simulators with a folding card chair uh but i really really love my simulator this thing's awesome the Fanatic pedals are amazing. I love the brake. Uh, the T500 RS with the hub mod and, and a real Sparco racing wheel just makes it feel like a real car. And the TH8 shifter is phenomenal. Now I just got to get those damn audio transducers on this thing. I already got somebody who's helping me out. I just got to send them some pictures um, to get some brackets fabbed up because we want to get those five on here with Sim Vibe. And I also want to integrate track IR too. So I'm hoping that by bringing all those things together, it'll make the experience that much more realistic and tied us over until the oculus rift ships hopefully someday because they keep trying to make it better and make it better and make it better i'm i'm almost certain that holodex will be out before they finally ship that thing but if and when they do i will have one so guys i hope this video gave you a nerdgasm now i'm gonna go practice <laughs>